So in this video, we're going to create route as well as we are going to test our APIs and we are not going to be using Postman. I think uh, Thunder Client is good enough for that kind of work. So we're going to just use that. So let's go ahead and work with that. I am pretty sure some of you, at least some of you have tried to go ahead and create a router. And that's a good thing. In case you have tried, that's a good thing. In case you haven't tried that, why haven't you tried it? Let's go ahead and work on with the package router. And uh, let's go ahead and create a function. This function, uh, let's call this one as router since this will be exported. Yes, that's why the capital letter case. It's a little bit hard actually in the initial days to say that this is capital or not. But eventually once you write like uh, 20, 30 uh, pages of this code, then it becomes next, uh, next, to, next to the nature. Now, one important thing that I'm pretty sure if in case you have tried writing is that this router, since this is going to be exported and will be used in the main file, we need to return some type of it. So as soon as you go ahead and say here that, hey, I, I want to create a router or just use the R variable as mentioned in the documentation. This is mux.router, new router. So since we know that this is a mux router and this needs to be exported as well, so we need to go ahead and no matter you like it or not, you have to return this router. And this is the most important part. Rest of all, it's pretty easy to figure out. So let's go ahead and say that this is going to return me a reference, very important, a pointer to this one up here. So this one is actually mux.router. There we go. That's all, that's all what we have to do. Rest of the stuff, we have done it already, so shouldn't be a big deal. So we're gonna see that, uh, hey router, you need to handle a function. And on what route you're going to handle? In most of the APIs, you're going to see that there is a localhost colon uh, 4000 or 3000 and then slash API and slash movies. So this is going to be the route in case you want to hit all the movies. So I want all the movies and this movie is going to come up from controller and controller has a method which is uh, not create, delete, get all my, get my all movies. There we go. Now I told you that Mux also allows you to actually work on with these methods and these methods are required for you. So you can go ahead and say dot and methods. There we go. And inside this method, if you remember uh, that it accepts a sequence of one or more method to be get matched, which is get post put. So anything that can you can you want to put it, but it also allows you to post some of the options as well. We don't have any options as of now, but just to give you a hint that yeah, it allows that. This is going to be a simple request, so I'll just mark it as get. Uh, but again, in case you want to have some options, this is where you actually put these options. If you put up a comma here, it says, hey, this is a mux router. You can pass on a dot, dot, dot string. Uh, that means it allows more stuff in case you want to have that. I don't have that, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so this is all basics of it. Now let's go ahead and uh, put up more methods as well. I'll hide this one so that it's much more visible. Let's duplicate this one. So what else? If I want to grab uh, one movie, then this is going to be, or let's just first create the movie. So we're gonna say this is going to be the route for creating a movie. This is obviously going to be a post method that you have to send. And the controller that is going to handle is going to be create a movie. So sounds simple, not too big. What about if I want to uh, grab a movie and I want to update that movie? And by the term update, I simply mean to say I want to mark it as, as watched. So in that case, we'll just hit the same route, which is a movie. And we're going to go ahead and say that, uh, please go ahead and give me an ID since we called it up as ID all the time. And this is for watched. So we're gonna call this one as mark, not like that, marked as watched. This is going to not a post, but actually a put request. So we have grabbed all the movies. We have uh, grabbed, we have created a movie. We have marked it as uh, watched. Now we need to go ahead and delete the movies as well. So let's go ahead and duplicate two of them. So the first one is I want to delete one movie. So if I go ahead and hit a request of delete on this one with the ID, I have a method that says delete a movie. So this is all fine. But if I want to go ahead and delete all the movie, then obviously these routing strategy is not going to work in that case. So I'm going to call this one as delete, delete all movie, maybe whatever <laughs> URL suits you best. This is going to be a controller which says delete all movie. And of course, this is going to be a type of delete. 
Now let's go ahead and go through it one more time. Uh, usually I keep a note up here on the on the pen and pencil and I, that's then how I design the routes. So this is all grabbing all the movies. This is creating a movie. We are updating a movie on this route. We are deleting a movie on this route and we are deleting all the movies. Let's go ahead and check out the controllers. So in the controllers, uh, there we go. We are grabbing all the movies, creating a movie, marking it as watched, deleting it and deleting all. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so this is all good. Let me bring back onto this main.go. Now, only thing that is remaining up is I have this main.go and just get it up and running. So first, we're gonna go ahead and do a fumpt, something like this. Server is getting started and make sure you put up a three dot just for fun, <laughs> no compulsion there. And after that, we are going to say, hey, HTTP, I want you to listen and serve onto a port and the port that you are going to use, let's go for 4,000. Hope nothing is running there. And you'll be using a router for me. Now this router is not yet being brought in, so we need to bring it up just right here. And let's call this one as R. Yeah, same as documentation. And this time this is not gonna be coming up from Mux router, this is going to be coming up from the router dot router, there we go. And now I can go ahead and pass on this up here, should be all happy but I want to make sure that if this uh, gets into an error, I just log that. So log.fatal and we are going to go ahead and print that up. And uh, we are going to finally print up a message that says uh, listening at port 4000. And of course, dots are important, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this controller is giving us a couple of red squiggly lines and these are because something is, I guess, wrong with my import statement or something. We'll see that, how this actually goes on. Let's go ahead and see that now. Let's say go build, uh, let's try to build that main.go and see how many errors we are gonna get. Okay, so it says, hey, uh, this package options is redeclared as import package. So there is a redeclaration in my controller and there is option, something undefined in this options up here. So let's go ahead and check that out. So first, this options and all of that, are you being redeclared? Why are you being redeclared? Let's go ahead and save that. So options is now imported automatically. Let's go ahead and try that again. And hopefully this is going to build it up nicely. Yeah, this time, we got it, we got it this time. Let's say go run main dot go and hopefully we will be listening we didn't create any home route okay that is nice so let's go ahead and try to create one let's go ahead and see what router we are going to use so it is slash api slash movie and we need to create a post request on this one so let's copy that use the thunder client new request and this new request will be http colon slash slash local host 4000 slash API, I get two slashes up here, my bad. Slash and movie. So this is, this should be in theory, should be a post route. And uh, what kind of things we need to send out? That model can help help us. So there's a JSON. Uh, I don't think so we need to send an ID. It will automatically be created for us. But let's just say, let's try to send some ID. And then a movie and the watch status. So let's go ahead and send a request. This will be of post type into a body. Let's go ahead and send this one up here. So this time we'll be sending up an ID. We don't need to send an ID to be honest. We just need, just give me a second, movie and watched. Okay. Coming up here again. And we're gonna say, hey movie. And let's get a movie name up here. And what should we name, name the movie? Maybe Deadpool, maybe don't like it. And put up a comma and watched. And of course I have watched that, but I'll just say false. Let's go ahead and send this one up here. And it says movie ID is a really long zeros and then a Deadpool. Okay, let's try one more before we go ahead and do anything more. And uh, a lot say Deadpool too, come on, I won't be doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and add some more movie. Uh, maybe KGF, uh, this is a really nice movie. And we'll be still saying false, let's go ahead and send this one. 
and there we go we got the same IDs being sent up here on the KGF uh, let's go ahead and see what's happening but again we are receiving the object IDs they are absolutely different so probably we are not receiving the IDs better we can actually tweak that eventually let's go ahead and see that how this data is looking up into the database let me quickly log in okay so now it's logging me in and we want to see that how this data actually looks like in the database it's always a good perspective to see that how it's looking like in your own database and no I don't want to do any of that I just want to browse the collection please you can do it faster okay so at least our Netflix is there watch list is there and we got two of the data that poll and KGF looks good let's go ahead and try to manipulate the data so creation is seems to be working uh, definitely we can work on this response that we are sending back we can do a little bit more onto this we're not sending the proper IDs back movie is coming up nicely so we need to check that out I won't be doing that uh, at least here let's go ahead and see what another route so if slash movie ID we can go ahead and send uh, onto this and this will be hopefully be updated so let's go ahead and grab the object ID up here we can actually grab these IDs from here as well so all you got to do is grab this ID so copy this you don't need to copy the entire object ID you won't be doing that anyways so let's go ahead and hit that route and if I go ahead and say API slash movie slash ID slash ID and instead of the post if I go ahead and put route so hopefully the object ID of D2F which is the first one so I guess the Deadpool is going to be marked as true for watch let's go ahead and try to send that and we receive a modified count one I would like to go back into my DB and would like to refresh this connection so it is still saying false refresh this one and uh, it's a big operation <laughs> shouldn't be doing that uh, but we see that we can mark it as true now okay that is also working nice surely we can receive better responses now let's go ahead and try to delete the same uh, with a delete request I've already copied this one so instead of the put if I go ahead and have a delete method being fired up hopefully that should be deleted it says delete count is m percent once so obviously this also needs a better response to be sending up here uh, but in the response we are noticing here that we are getting this better response so this is the better one up here uh, so let's go ahead and refresh this again big operation and uh, hopefully okay it is being deleted now let's see if our delete all is working so we need to add uh, some values up here more movie name okay that is a little bit hard for me now okay I'm running out of the movie name maybe yeah, I'm definitely running out of the name. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to my classic examples of Iron Man and Spider-Man. Uh, we're going to watch marked it as false. Let's add that. Okay, hopefully that data got added up. And uh, let's go ahead and say Iron Man 2. Yeah, I'm literally running out of the names up here. And again, I'm, I'm firing up the wrong. It should be post data. That's why it's saying, hey, delete count 00, zero because it was not able to delete. So that's a nice testing. Uh, let's go ahead and send this one and we are sending it onto a wrong path I'm just messing it up all the way but that's also a good sign of testing the stuff we need to send it up to movie okay I get it hopefully not slash there we go and hopefully this time we'll be able to send it okay inserted one movie and we need to insert Iron Man 2 since we have inserted the second part and hopefully the Iron Man has got up okay now we can test up our delete all and see that all the values coming in okay three values and hopefully our method which is delete delete till movie whatever the typo I have done here I'm gonna be using that so sorry for that uh, I know some of you yeah that's that's bad not acceptable let's go ahead and say that if we send up the delete request we don't need to worry about the data in the body send that and it says number of movies deleted is three okay so here we can conclude that yes we have learned a lot we have learned some that some of the APIs requires a little bit more work and they can be polished a little bit but I won't be doing that much uh, you need to do that part and this is all the basics that we have learned I hope you are now much more comfortable in the Golang and if you have enjoyed the series 
please please reach me out on instagram say just hi or hello or you can also support me via pro.learncode online your support by buying the subscription and having an access to all the video courses helps me to create more such awesome videos so that's it for this one and yet let's go ahead and catch up in the next one Thank you.